Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Shahab Karni from Television I-95 Studios. Uh, today, we are celebrating the Women Month. Actually, the International Women's Day celebration is March 8th, but the entire month of March has been declared as Women Celebration Month by the state of Maryland, Governor Larry Hogan. And I have a very good panel, very vibrant panel uh, with me on my show. We are going to have the proper introduction and then we are going to see why they're here and we're going to talk about all what is needed for women power. As you can see in the flyer, woman economic power, that will be the focus of our, our conversation this morning. And with me in the studio, I have Ms. Zuleika Basemore. Welcome to my studio, Ms. Zuleika. How are you today? Thanks for having me. It's, a, it's an honor being here today with you. And I have Ms. Takasha Howell. How are you? I am doing wonderful. Thank you so much for having me. And of Bless course, you. very senior friend, Adona Black. Welcome to my studio, Zuleika. Thank you. Now, before we go to the conversation of actually woman power, let's have the proper introduction. And when I say introduction, rather me introducing the fine ladies here, I will let each one of you explain your journey of progress, how you accomplish certain things and mm -hmm. milestones in your lifetime. So first, I'm going to go with Ms. Zuleika. Welcome. Please um, tell our audience, introduce yourself. I'm Salika Baysmore. Um, I think um, um, quite a few people know me as um, the financial educator, um, but also I ran for mayor, as everyone knows, on the GOP card for Baltimore City. I'm from Washington, D.C. I was born and reared in Washington, D.C. Um, spent the first a decade running and being the first CEO of a high-tech firm. And a lot of women asked me, as well as men, asked me, you know, Miss Moore, that's my maiden name, Zalika Moore. Um, how were you able to do that at 20 years old? You, you know, your second year in college. So my journey is interesting. Um, I, it, it's been such, not just a journey when it comes to business, but a spiritual journey as well. And um, being able to be born again of the spirit, and just being able to be obedient to the spirit, using all of God's gifts that he has definitely gifted me with has made a major impact on my life. And I truly believe that I've made an impact on so many women's lives. Um, I started off as a CEO, 20 years old, grew my co corporation. We were working with people like the Booker T. Washington Foundation SBA. We had contracts with DOD, Department of Employment Service, DOES, Department of Defense, DOD. Um, so we've worked with several federal government agencies, but as well as nonprofits. And then God brought me here to Baltimore City back to my roots because my mom, grandmother, great grandmother, born, reared Baltimoreans. And it's amazing that it, Baltimore was not on my radar at 54 to come back, to come and mm -hmm. live in Baltimore City. But now I really understand why God has brought me here. I spent, I actually was the female that pioneered women into professional boxing. Women like Layla Ali, Christy Martin. Uh, we now have over a thousand women that are licensed professional boxers around the globe. And, but also who are managers who are into sports management. I was the first female in the United States to be licensed as a sports manager. That opened the door for women to now become sports accommodators, sports reporters. They can now go into a men's locker room and interview them. Um, chief second, I've, I'm the first and I think the only that has worked at championship corner. OK, so I've worked with people like Sean Bay Mitchell, Rock Newman, Dr. Jerry Buss, um, Donald Trump, when he was doing a lot of boxing promotions um, and even Don King. So even everything that I've done in life, I think God has really just destined me to be an advocate for women. So I was really excited 
when um, Adana reached out to me and asked me to be a part of the advisory committee for this, this power. Um, it's going to be amazing. And last but not least, I've been in the financial industry for third. This is my 38th year come November. I've been a regional vice president for A.L. Williams, which is now Prime America, owned by Citicorp. Um, I am now a independent contractor with Wise Commercial Lending, and I'm a field trainer for Premier Financial Alliance, the fastest growing financial marketing entity in the country right now. And I also am a managing agent for Kemper Life, who's been in business in terms of life, educating people about life insurance, rental insurance, annuities, equity index annuities, preparing for your retirement, but not only that, creating financial legacy for you and your family. You know, those next generations to come. So many times we in America have not been educated about personal finances and building financial security for our families. So that's what I think I can bring to the table. Um, and I'm excited about the opportunity but I know we're going to be able to, to, to achieve some amazing things here in Baltimore City. Thank you. Thank you. Ms. Adona, you're next. Please introduce yourself. Hello. My name is Adona Black. I am a community advocate, um, youth advocate, and woman empowerment partner. <laughs> I am also um, heading up the advisory board for the Institute for Women's Entrepreneurship. And we are looking forward to the initiative that is coming to Baltimore City for women entrepreneurs, for those who would like to start businesses, those who have already started businesses, and those who would like to expand and advance their businesses. Um, every day, my life consists of partnering with women, networking with different women, uh, building relationships in the community, uh, from feeding the homeless to um makeovers for the women to educating our young ladies when lifestyle um and life skills training we do trauma aid i'm also um the administrative um assistant to the commander in chief of the baltimore trauma response team where we respond directly to trauma um, in baltimore city we also do trauma aid trainings in baltimore city um and are working to build more partnerships to be able to bridge the gap between the community and the Baltimore Police Department and clergy and everybody, laddie daddy. <laughs> so I'm all about community. That's what it's all about for me. And I am looking forward to working with the women um, in my community and around my community. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Adona. Now, Mr. Kasha Howell. Please introduce yourself. <laughs> Hi, everyone. I am Takasha Howell, and uh, I am a transplant from California here in Maryland now, living in Owens Mills, Maryland. And uh, my specialties are I'm a wellness expert and a beauty expert. Uh, I got my start out here in Maryland. Um, I'm also a physical therapist. So the wellness field is my expertise. Um, I was contracted with the Baltimore Ravens. I was contracting with um, what's the Pearl Spa. I worked there for two years. I also worked in uh, DC at Blue Mercury. Um, it's a boutique. It's like a boutique for all kind of skincare. And so they contracted me from Lancome um, to do beauty, facials, you know, just really to help increase women and help them look beautiful. And I'm into the mind, body, and spirit. And so what I bring to you is um, also I'm an ordained pastor and uh, I've married four people in Maryland, which I'm really happy about. Um, but just bringing in oh so much love and um, just that serenity to help women um, find their self. You know, that self-care is what I was really talking about. Um, to show them how beautiful they are inside and out. Um, even with their clothes, we do makeovers with my business. Uh, the name of my business is called Soulful Zen Wellness and Therapeutic Massage. And I just launched my um, Zen Beauty line. So that's supposed to be coming soon. So this pandemic has really got me stirred up. You know, my entrepreneurialness just 
is just a blossoming and developing and I am here to learn and I am just excited to be a part of this women empowerment uh, movement because it is a movement because a lot of times we don't see the faces behind all the things that's going on in the world. And women, we carry so many crowns, okay? And so I love the fact that when we can put everything together and not only that, but empower women of all ages and just come out to do what is in them to do, what God has called them to do, you know, and, and to just show their light, show their light, you know, in many forms. And so I'm just excited to be here. Good. Thank you, Mr. Kasha. Now, whatever you just mentioned, beauty, beauty of the woman, you know. Yes. My question to all three of you, and I'm going to start uh, from Ms. Leha, that with the beauty, if we add brain, what wonders can be done? <laughs> amazing things because um you know it's it's, it's it's amazing that you you what a brain um i truly believe that the complete woman we need to empower the whole woman not just the outer woman but the inner woman the spiritual side of a woman the mindset of a woman um even dealing with the emotional um, things that we go through on a daily basis. And I think I truly believe that God has created woman to be that person, that, that, that entity that brings a lot of common sense, a lot of love and sensitivity and, and things that are really needed. When we look at the men, we look at men from that masculine side, you know, but when we look at woman, look at the things that women have been created to endure. That's number one. So, you know, it was amazing that you brought up brain because now we have a woman finally that's in the White House, okay? We have women now that are leading on, in the House of Representatives, okay? Yes. We have women that are leaders in the financial industry, okay? So all across the spectrum, it's not just about the outer woman, but the whole woman. And that's what I look at in terms of empowerment. Thank you. Now, my question to you, Mr. Kasha, that, well, if we have beauty and we have the brain, mm -hmm. what uh, a small entrepreneur, a woman entrepreneur, faces the challenges? Um, um, let, me let me be more clear on that, you know. Mm -hmm. Access to capital. If... Right. A small woman entrepreneur wants to start a business. She needs capital. Right. Do you think we have fair and equal opportunity for women as we speak when we talk about access to capital? What is your take on it? Well, as a, a entrepreneur woman and really trying to get you know, my business off the ground, um, it was really hard to get capital. And now they have with, you know, since COVID, um, the PPP programs that they're offering to people to try to get money, it's been very difficult because a lot of people don't know about having um, what information to fill out, what avenues are really for them, you know, depending on what area expertise that you um, are specialing in. And it was, it's, it's extremely hard. And so having an institute to where you can empower women to learn about business and having making business money, you know, and learning how to make this money work for them in the long run, not just for them, their personal selves, but for the community as well. We just need more access to that, to that capital and learning on how we can get our hands on that money to empower ourselves so that we can do more empowerment to others. You wanted to say something, Ms. Zuleika. Yeah, Absolutely. Ahead. You know, now that, that I'm getting a full understanding of that key question, let me say something. 98% of Americans are not educated when it comes to finances. Mm -hmm. We are 
a lot of us are born entrepreneurs. We have that entrepreneur spirit. We take our creativity, our love of, of whatever it is that we enjoy doing, and we turn it into a entity where it can produce a living. It could produce a living. But has anyone taught us how to take that idea or how to take that plan? And that's the key is plan. We need to educate people. And that's what I do. And I know that this entity will be able to bring that in a structured way yes. to women. That's yes. the key is yes. being able to take a woman from vision to on paper, mm -hmm. creating a plan that's crystal clear, that's very simplistic where a, 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 a financier can take a look at that and say, wow, I see this person's vision. I see this woman's vision. Right. PPP, I can educate you because I was, I've helped dozens of people, small businesses get that PPP. We want an entity with this institute that can help in all of those areas. So that's what I'm excited about. We are, I, we've, I've already helped about uh, 150 people just in Baltimore get the PPP. So if you need help in that, reach out and, and call me. But um, yeah, we can educate. We can educate. So, but I so, wanted a structured yeah. educational program and workshop. Right. So I want to go beyond education. I mean, we have yes. all the nice booklets from different banks, from SBA, from. But you educate by doing, by taking that person exactly. step by step. It's but, not about going to school so much and being in the classroom. It's about sitting down with that individual, with that woman, and saying, okay, what is your idea? Or what business do you have in place right now? Where are you at? And teaching them, putting them with the right CPAs that I hope will work in our, and I've already got a great one, that will work with our institution where they can come in and say, okay, I advise you to structure your business uh, this way. Uh, and these are the reasons why. It's about actually hands-on doing and taking right. that person through the process. And right. that's going to be unique within itself because nobody out here in America is doing that. I got ridiculed when I first came out of the secret world of finance on the social media and freely educating Americans about personal finance. Now, a lot of them are trying to come out. So I right. think this institute is going to bring forth something that's very unique because it's almost like hands-on getting a mentor to work with that individual or those individuals and meeting them where they're at and right. taking them through the process. Now, my right. question to all three of you, that beyond preparing women for running a business or business plan, don't you think it's a good idea to create at the state level a micro lending fund yes. so that people can, the woman entrepreneur can touch the money Absolutely. without being, without being redlined by the banks or SBA guidelines. It doesn't help the small woman entrepreneur. What do you think about that, Ms. Takash? What is your thought on that? I definitely think that that would be an awesome thing to do for us because even really when you have a vision and you're trying to put it into you know manifestation you're trying to bring it to fruition you're going to need capital you're going to need your hands on some money and even starting it up you can invest in yourself on a, only on a small level but when you have an entity or someone that you may think might know a little bit more than you, you're willing to trust them. You're willing to trust them with your vision and your business. And you're willing to open up and say, you know, how can I get my hands? Because that's really like the American dream. People want to make money, but they also want to get what their gift is out there. You know, there's specialties in everything, but it all starts with your business plan. How are you going to um, fund? You know, what if it starts to expand? How are you going to fund that? You know, learning about how to run your business, learning about money is so important. What she was talking about, and it's needed. It is needed. And I can't wait for that to be available for us, you know, Thank with you. more more conversations like that, because we told, we need it. We need it so bad. Thank you. Now, let's come back to the Women Celebration Month. 
And what Ms. Adona was telling me um, last week that uh, all of you have planned an event on March 6th, I guess. Ms. Adona, tell our audience some more details what exactly the plans are all about. Okay, so um, March 6th, we will be coming together to rally for the empowerment of women. Women from all walks of life, from wives to mothers to children, um, young girls, teenage young ladies, um, students, um, financial advisors, professionals, first responders. I mean, every every woman and every kind of woman is invited and every kind of woman is expected to show up. And we want to empower one another. It is the WU um, is the name of the acronym of the movement. It is W-H-E-W. That's women helping to empower women. So at the end of the day, we're going to leave more empowered after we hear all of the beautiful speakers. Uh, two of the speakers are with us right now. Uh, Ms. Takasha how, how, how I'm sorry, and Zalika Baysmore. They're going to be two other women speaking, but we have a host of women who are going to be speaking, women who are going to be there sharing their gifts. We're going to have on the site resources for these women in real time that they can take advantage of. Um, we're going to have the, the men are going to be with us, supporting us, standing with us and walking with us to protect us and to make sure that we are good. Their presence is going to be Yes. I think we are losing Ms. Adonam. Ms. Zuleka, you can add what exactly the venue will be for this event. Where is this going to be held? Can you hear us? Um, I can barely hear you, but can you hear me? Yeah. Yes, we can hear you. Okay. okay. Tell us so this where, event what's is going to be taken. We're going to we're going to be meeting on 33rd and Greenmont Avenue here in Baltimore City, and that's where the rally will start it's at 10 a.m. March the 6th, which yeah. is on a Saturday, and um, we're going to be also holding a couple of press conferences prior to that. Um, it's going to be all throughout and, and promoted on, on, on social media as well. Um, but this is going to be an exciting affair. It's going to be from 10 to um, 2, 2 p.m. Uh, we will have women that will have their business cards there. We'll have women. I will actually, after, we, we act, after I speak, I will actually have a table set up where we're going to end up where I can take people's um information, their email information, and if they're in need of PPP, if they're in need of microfunding mm -hmm. right now, we can actually set the appointments right then and there to get them through and, and actually we can do it via, via virtual Zoom meetings. Um, but more importantly, we want to actually bring women on board um, with our coalition. Um, because it's so important. There's going to be so many talented women to show up from um, people from HUD, real estate a, a brokers, all all women. So this is that's the whole point of this is yeah. to network and bring women together on every social level, every economic level. Because wherever you're starting, whatever your dream or vision is. Mm -hmm. We will have someone there that can assist you with that and pair you and match you with a mentor that can help you. I'm so excited about this charter because in doing that, when we open our doors, we have already helped Adana put together a actual program step by step where it takes the, per the woman that comes through the front door and where and how, after doing intake, how we will approach helping that woman actually reach their vision. It's not just going to stop just by them coming in, becoming a member. Wherever they're at in life, wherever mm -hmm. they are in terms of their vision or in terms of what they're doing, 
that we want to be that guy, that that mentor to help get them there. Okay. Okay. So Thank that's you. that's what this is all about. It's whole in empowerment, complete empowerment of the woman. Thank you. Ms. Zuleka, thank you, Ms. Howell. I mean, it was thank nice you. talking to all of you, and we definitely wish you all the best on March 6th. And definitely, I-95 TV is going to be uh, disseminating this information, but this is not the end of the conversation. Trust no me. No question. And in going weeks and coming weeks and months, we will be inviting you for a good conversation about the micro lending fund at the state level, plus mm -hmm. the Institute for Women Entrepreneurship. Thank All you right? so and much. No problem. Yeah, With yeah, those words, up. thank you. And we You're need welcome. to get in touch behind Absolutely. the scenes. Absolutely. Because I will. want to be a part of helping you guys put together that micro fund. 